would imagine if the tariffs go into effect, then a lot of what we're witnessing today gets undone. And I don't think we've learned our lesson. Stocks are, stocks are right, okay. The S&P 500 is sitting on a total return of 28.6% for the year. It's an incredible year by any historical standard you want to look at. The Qs are up more like 35% total return. Absolutely incredible. And what's happening in the last week is undoubtedly a performance chase. Look at the All Country World Index. All-time record high right now, up almost 1% on the day. That's the whole world breaking out. Merging markets are up 3% in the last two days. That is not an index that typically does something like that, unless you're seeing people looking for stuff that hasn't gone up a lot this year to get into. And that is what I think you're seeing in the economically sensitive stocks. So I want you to look really quickly. The XLE is energy stocks. They've been terrible up until the last month or so. They're making up a lot of ground. Um, you, you've got a really big move there. In the XLF, you're less than 1% away on financials from, uh, from a, a record high. Uh, and even like materials breaking out to a 52-week high. So these are areas that have not done as well as the overall market. Now you're seeing them go vertical. The semis are going vertical. Healthcare and consumer staples both making an all-time high on those ETFs. There's, there's a big performance chase at this time of year. And I think the trade stuff is exacerbating it. If we don't get these tariffs to go away, you will see a lot of what I've just described start to ebb away. Because we've had some newfound momentum, Jenny, in, in trying to, you know, have this run into the end of the year. Market's losing steam as we speak. I mean, a 100-point gain on the Dow at 28,000 is right. nothing. Who cares? What happens if the tariffs go into effect? So what I've been saying is I'm... From an investment perspective, I'm looking through the tariffs. And I think when Josh says, if the tariffs go into effect, what's happening today will be undone. Yeah, so what, we're up a half percent today? Undone for today is down half percent. And even percent. forget today alone, okay. will the end of year rally be undone? I don't That's think what so. we're really talking even about. Even if it is undone, what does that mean? That we lose 5% yeah, and we're still 21%? I don't, think it's, of, I don't think it's the end of the world. I don't either. I just think... I think, it, I think the tweets and I think the noise has become white noise, and I think a lot of investors are looking through it. So even if we do get the tariffs on Sunday, I think everyone knows that there's a really high odd, that some version of them are then retracted, that we give a little, we take a little, that it's just noisy. And so I don't think that we have some massive pullback. I don't think that it's the end of the world. I don't think this market's undone. Well, 5% is a, a pretty good-sized pullback. And then we end the year up, what, 21% instead of 26%? You're not going to feel real good it. coming into the end yes, of the year. Yes, but, Jenny, if you're somebody that sat on the sidelines all year because of trade nonsense, and then you chose in, in late November, right. December... Because of the performance chase that you just talked about. To correct. Put money so into then the that does matter if you drop from but, being up 28 to 21. To me, I'm going to go... Sh you know, and this I is know that's not you. No, no, uh, I'm going to say shame on the person who sat wow. on the sidelines totally based uh, on... There's a ton of money year. that's been on, on the sidelines, that, to, to Josh's point. And what percent? You come in now and then have the whole thing... Uh, your, your run to the end of the year on... And you're wrong twice. You look like a serious schmuck. Yeah. And nobody wants that. It's easy to be critical of people to sit in the sidelines because you just don't know what their circumstances are, how they look at things. It's easy to say, I'm looking through it. But all this, I mean, what does it mean? It means nothing. We can't analyze the tweets, right? The tweets come out, they go away. If you think Well, that's you what I'm saying. Right. We've sort of, so I hope I, we've learned our lesson right. in trying to do that. But clearly But we not. do have to address whether we wake up Monday morning, we either have tariffs or we and, don't. And I'll, I'll Binary you, outcome for stocks? Absolutely. So, to me, the market trades down significantly, 5 to 10 percent, maybe not in day one, but through the week. People have made a lot of money. They may not want to wait until next year to book those gains. Some have been booking them already, not wanting to take tariff risk because they just want to take money off the table because their equity portfolios have risen to too big a level. So, what I'm doing is I had bought puts on some of the more volatile positions. I hope they expire worthless. <laughs> They're on the way a little bit to being worthless. But I also have taken the opportunity to add. I added to Boeing yesterday because the stock was down meaningfully. I added again this morning on Delta's comments. What came out of the FAA, uh, the head of the FAA, and what came out of the CEO of Delta is that we're going to see the MAX come back early next year. So there's opportunities in this. But I can't go through and say, you know, look, uh, I'm running my my portfolio based upon what comes out. I've got to look through it. And here's the oh, you're awakening. Looking through it? Here's the what I'm you're sorry. looking through it? Well, here's the awakening <laughs> I've I've come to. We look at things differently. You buy and you hold forever, right? So you don't liquidate one of your clients is in the grave. I liquidate when I feel I've reached price targets. But here's not that you don't, I'm sure you do as well. <laughs> but here's the real estate I've come to, okay? That the market, you know, you can't analyze, you can't guess it. 
and that the economy is strong enough, and that's the controlling narrative. So there are short-term disruptions from tweets, positive or negative, whether we get a deal or don't get a deal. And if you look at, I don't know if it's three months, three weeks, or six months, the market's going to be higher because that's where it's coming.